Hello eSchool students, this is teacher Charles again. I'm happy to be with you and study today New Interchange Book 1, Learning English the American Style. I hope that this is benefiting from you. I hope that you're taking the opportunity to chat with me, to ask questions, introduce yourself. Today we're on page 6 in Unit 1. And page 6 is Grammar Focus again. So New Interchange focuses on speaking, listening, reading, writing, and grammar. Me and Chana, Nakanan, Krup unit. In every unit, there's many opportunities for grammar, many opportunities for uh, speaking and listening and reading, and some opportunities for writing. Not yet in unit one, but there will be more opportunities for writing and when you chat with me you can practice your writing so let's look at exercise number eight grammar focus the top of page six okay do you have your books remember if you have a problem and you cannot download the book contact uh, eSchool Cambodia send a chat to me and if possible I cannot promise but if possible We'll do everything we can to try to get the book to you. It's in the eSchool app along with this course. And so, grammar focus. We're learning about yes and no questions and short answers with be. In English, we have a verb, it's called the to be verb. I have a complete lesson on that, and if you want to understand more, I can send you the link. If you're my friend on Facebook, Charles E. McCall, by the way, this is my name on Facebook. That's my name on Facebook. I have two Facebooks, but this is the Facebook. If you send me a friend request, I don't accept everybody as a friend. But because you're my student, I will accept you as a friend. But you should tell me I am your student in eSchool Cambodia. If I see that you're my student in eSchool Cambodia, I will accept you as a friend and I will create a group. I will create a group for a new interchange intro book, a new interchange book one, new interchange book two and three. And so we will have our own group and we can chat back and forth and I can give you more information, okay? Uh, we'll, let's try that in, in Facebook. I also have Telegram and WhatsApp, but let's try it in Facebook first. And so where were we? We're learning about the to be, we're using yes and no answers with short information yes and no questions with short information short answers yes and no questions and short answers with be or the to be verb to be verb means kinyomchia kinyomchia means I am kinyomchia action a verb is an action and to be alive, we say exist. E X I S T. Exist. Be in Chiva Ronel. And so the to be verbs are am, is, and are. I am, he is, they are. And was and were. We were, they were. And so these are called the to be verbs. And so we're going to be using, uh, in particular, uh, uh, am, is, and uh, am, is, and uh, are in this particular lesson, this grammar focus. So we have two columns, the column on the left and the column on the right, okay? In our lesson, we have two columns, the column on the left and the column on the right. The left-hand column and the right-hand column. Okay, so follow me. I'll read it first. Are you on vacation? No, I'm not. 
I'm a student. Are you a student? Yes, I am. Is Sarah from the United States? No, she isn't. No, she's not. She's from Australia. Is Sarah from Australia? Yes, she is. Are you and Tom in the same class? No, we aren't. No, we are not. We're in the same volleyball team. Are you and Tom on the same volleyball team? Yes, we are. Are Mr. and Mrs. Taveras Americans? No, they aren't. No, they are not. They're Brazilian. Are Mr. and Mrs. Taveras Brazilian? Yes, they are. Okay, so we're asking a simple question and we're giving a simple answer. But notice this. He, he adds more information. I just to tell you, this is my experience in Cambodia. I used to be the director of a large organization. I had many staff. Most of them spoke very good English because we had an English school. In my organization, we taught English, we taught computer, we taught office skills, and many different kinds of life skills, but mostly we taught English. And so most of my staff speak very good English. That I used to be my staff, I don't work there any longer. But many times I would ask them, they would only say yes or no. So I like this. They ask, are you on vacation? They say, no, I'm not. But I what one time for me and I'm by I net as you'll chuma. What one time for me and tech I'm by chewing net as you'll chuma. No, I'm not. I'm a student. Oh, okay. Are you on vacation? No, I'm not. But time for me and tech, I'm a student. Okay, thank you. So she all back a suing, but meant I tried that bot day, Rukacha. But I tried her, but time for me and thou, maximum of a yield. So let's do this again, and I will. Uh, I will read it and you say it after me. Watch me. Don't read, but watch me. Are you on vacation? No, I'm not. I'm a student. Are you a student? Yes, I am. Is Sarah from the United States? No, she isn't. She's from Australia. So I Are you on vacation? No, I'm not. I'm a student. Are you a student? Yes, I am. Is Sarah from the United States? No, she's not. She's from Australia. Is Sarah from Australia? Yes, she is. Are you and Tom in the same class? No, we aren't. We're on the same volleyball team. Are you and Tom on the same volleyball team? Yes, we are. Are Mr. and Mrs. Taveras American? No, they aren't. They're Brazilian. Are Mr. and Mrs. Taveras Brazilian? Yes, they are. Notice, we're on the same volleyball team. We're on. When in, in American English, we don't say, are you in the same volleyball team? We say, are you on? <laughs> But this is how we say it. Are you on the same volleyball team? Yes, we're on the same volleyball team. 
We're in the car. We're on the train. We're in the house. We're on the motorcycle. In, on. Okay? And so let it uh, go to uh, exercise eight, grammar focus. And uh, we're going to look at forming questions. You'll see a slide on your screen and just to show you how to form questions. So we have two columns, the column on the left and the column on the right. The column on the left is the statement. We call it a statement. I'm making a statement. Kim Kun Tan Ni Ye Sentence Moi, Sikade Put Moi. But on the right hand, we create a question about the statement. Okay? Number one, I will say all of them and then you say them after me. I'm an American. Are you an American? I like bread. Do you like bread? I'm single. Are you single? Are you married? I ate lunch already. Did you eat lunch already? And so now you say them after me. I'm an American. Are you an American? I like bread. Do you like bread? I'm single. Are you single? Are you married? I ate lunch already. Did you eat lunch already? And so this is how we, we form a question. And so I want us to look now at page six, exercise eight, grammar focus, and now we will apply. So we study about grammar in new interchange, and then we apply it, we practice the grammar. Complete the conversations, and then practice with a partner. So I'm going to give you the answers. I will read and give you the answers and then we will say it together. You can pause the video if you want to try this. Right now you can pause the video and try to answer it yourself if you want. Or you can wait and I'll read it and I'll give you the answers and you have to fill in. You have to write the answers right in your book. Are you from the United States? Yes, I am. I'm from Chicago. See, what sua moi, what chlai hai got man time for a mean tiet da da sam khan da ma chui net da sua yu. Are you from the United States? Yes, I am. I'm from Chicago. Is Rosa in English 101? No, she isn't. She's in English 102. Are you and Monique from France? Yes, we are. We're from Paris. Okay, I will say it again. Number one, are you from the United States? Yes, I am. I'm from Chicago. Is Rosa in English 101? No, she isn't. She's in English 102. Are you and Monique from France? Yes, we are. We're from Paris. Okay. And so we use are and we're. When we're talking about one person, we use am and i. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. We use are and is when we're talking about two or more people. And we use am and is when we're talking about one person. Okay. One person to people, man, man peoples. People is plural. It's not necessary for us to add the S because people is a plural word. Person is a singular word. People is a plural word. And so it's not necessary to add the S, peoples. Peoples, atrate, people. Three people, four people, 20 people, 100 people, one person. 
Okay, let's look at uh, uh, letter B. And letter B, read the conversations in exercise four and seven again. And so we have to go back to page three in book one, unit one, you go back to page three and you go back to page five and you read it again, okay? So this is something for you to do. You can pause the video or after the video is finished, you go back to page three and page five and you read the conversations again. This is in new interchange, this is what we call fluency. Fluency, we practice again and again and again until we're fluent, okay? And so you answer the questions. The five questions in letter B, we have five questions. And those five questions are associated with the, the conversation on page three and five. You'll know, but you mean some new, nakanang B, nakanang exercise B, you mean some new, tank pram. But I some new, type as some new tank pram, they wear that pon nang cheer, sick a day sent near, now to porti by, nang to porti pram. But she need them by chlight them proud, you know, trap dovin, nang an, sick a day sent near, now to porti by, and to porti. Tempoti pram marong tiet. Okay, you le? Snap to one? Okay, I know you do. I think you understood in English already, but I speak in Khmer just to make sure, unless if there are some students who don't understand my English clearly. And so here are the questions Are Tom and Paolo on the baseball team? Do you remember? What sport did Tom and Paolo play? Did they play baseball? Did they play basketball? Did they play football? Did they play volleyball? Are Tom and Paolo on the same baseball team? Yes or no? You can say no, they are not on the same baseball team. Or yes, they are. I want you to answer. So say, I make a complete sentence. Okay, answer no or yes, but then make a complete sentence. No, they aren't on the same baseball team. Yes, they are. Do you understand? I want you to practice your writing. Number two, are Mr. and Mrs. Tavares on vacation? Yes, they are on vacation. Yes, Mr. and Mrs. Tavares are on vacation. No, Mr. and Mrs. Tavares aren't on vacation. Number three, are Mr. and Mrs. Tavares from Mexico? Yes, Mr. and Mrs. Tavares are from Mexico. Or, no, Mr. and Mrs. Tavares are not from Mexico. They're from Brazil. Is Paulo from Brazil? Yes, Paulo is from Brazil. Or, no, Paulo is not from Brazil. You write the correct answer. Number five, is Paulo on vacation? Yes, Paulo is on vacation. Or, no, Paulo is not on vacation. Okay, and so uh, I want you, uh, exercise number C, letter C, is group work. If you're working with a group, if you're studying with a group, that's wonderful. And then you can write five questions about your classmates. Is Virik from Battambang? Does Chia work at the clothing factory? Does Marie have three sisters? So you can ask questions with one another and you can practice answering. So you can also chat with me. Teacher, do you have a mother and father? Teacher, do you have one brother? Teacher, do you have two sisters? You can ask me questions like that and I can try to answer. And finally, uh, at the bottom of page six, we have a listening. A listening practice and so you listen to me 
listen to these conversations and complete the information about each person. So I'm going to say it and you write in your book. I give you permission. Teacher Charles gives you permission to write in your book. Teacher Charles says it's a good idea to write in your book so you can keep it, so you can remember it, and so you can teach it to others. That's my idea. And so we have one, two, three, four. We have four columns. And the first name, the last name, where are they from, and what subject are they studying. I'm only going to read this one time. Listen carefully. Joe Miller. I'm Joe Miller. M-I-L-L-E-R. I'm Joe Miller. I'm from the United States. I study chemistry. I'm Joe Miller. I'm from the United States. I study chemistry. I'm Ellen Vera. I'm from Mexico. I study engineering. I'm Minho Kim. I'm from Korea. I study English. That's our grammar focus for today. Very good. I hope you learned a lot. You're a number one student. Please chat with me. Ask me some questions. Uh, be my friend on Facebook, but be sure and tell me you're an eSchool student. So thank you very much. Take a rest and we will study the next lesson together. By the way, watch this video again. A good student does not just watch the video one time, but a good student watches the video two or three times to become fluent. Okay? Thank you.